Uh, hi, uh, my name is Tom Antos and uh, welcome to another filmmaking tutorial. Uh, this is actually a continuation of uh, the, the previous tutorial where I explained uh, various tips and tricks when filming uh, documentary type of uh, work in, in, in on remote locations. In, in the previous video I, I talked about uh, this, uh, some of the equipment that I used, uh, camera and lenses, and in this uh, tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, uh, audio. Sound is a big part of any film, and getting good good sound, you know, while on location and in these remote places is, is again an, an issue. Uh, if, you, if you're working in a film, you can you know you have the luxury of having you know cables and you know microphones and on booms and and having people actually operating it for you. But when you're on location, um, a lot of times you know you end up just being stuck out there, you know, completely on your own, or you know I would sometimes have maybe one assistant with me while my producer was off, you know, trying to get permits and, and, and you know and arrange interviews with other people and so really you do you do want to just be able to 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 handle mo most of the stuff you know uh, completely you know, on your own and i think the best way or at least the best way that i found for me uh to do this is uh to to use the the, um, the portable um zoom h4 uh, audio recorder uh, the one that i have up here uh, is an older model uh, there's, there's a newer one out there which has you know e e even more you know better options but uh um overall though it's uh, whether you get the old model the newer one it's 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 i find that it's sufficient for most you know audio, uh, audio recording uh the, the recorder itself can record in you know in, uh, up to 96 kilohertz uh, audio quality you can connect to it you know other external microphones and things like that but if you just simply want to be able to just get good, you know, location sound or just ambient sounds, you know, from the, the, the locations you're filming in, then uh, it works uh, m most of the time. It has its own battery pack, so you're not draining the battery off of your camera. Uh, that, it ha that it allows you to plug in uh, headphones, because you really do need to be, you know, be able to monitor uh, the, you know, the, what you're recording. And then uh, it also should have some kind of a wind, you know, a screen of protection. Uh, the Zoom H4 that I got uh, actually didn't have anything, so as you can see, I basically just bought some of this uh, fluffy kind of uh, fur, fake fur, I don't know what you, what you call it, uh, at a fabri fabric store, and very easily made my own for, uh, I think cost me maybe around <coughs> around $5. And I would basically put this, um, you know, the fake fur o over the microphone, and uh, and that would, you know, really, really help, when, when especially when filming out, out on a beach, you know, where it's v very windy. Um, th this is actually how the audio sounded, you know, while, while filming this, this one interview on the, on the beach. La marea alta, cualquier bañista o cualquier persona que no sepa nadar, el mar eh, alto es. Um, that's the actual sound that that I was recording on the on the 7D, and this is the sound that I was managed to record on the on the Zoom H4. Y hacen turbulencia, y eso es la corriente que te jala, pero eso pasa cuando la marea está bajo. Um, here's another example, for example, uh, while filming in a, an interview actually on, a, on a busy street in, in Montañita. Um, as you can hear, there's a lot of background traffic and just, uh, just the overall, just the quality that you could get on the, on the 70 is not very good. And then again, uh, this is the audio that I got uh, using the Zoom H4. El propio mar, que es una extensión muy muy amplia y en cuanto a los culturales tenemos las fiestas tradicionales que se celebran dos veces al año aquí en Montenegro. And uh, as you can hear, it's it's a lot better and the main reason is because uh, you're able to basically put the microphone way closer to the actual subject than, 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 you know, than the microphone that you have uh, built into your camera. And, uh, and that's that's pretty much you know the way I would work most of the time I would you know s set the you know the, the audio recorder just you know start recording and I would move it up as close as I c c could basically to the person that I was you know interviewing for example um, without having it you know actually appear in the shot so in this case here you can see me just resting the microphone uh, on the table and uh, right right up to the, to the girl's face um, and in this case for example while we were filming on the beach I actually had just had somebody who was, you know, happened to be helping me around on that day, uh, just ho hold the microphone, you know, as close to as possible to the, 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 the people there, and uh, and really, uh, I've, it's you know, the recording it that way, I find this is this easiest and simplest because you know, again, when you have microphones, when you have booms, when you have all these cables and mixers and all that stuff, 
it's it's great don't get me wrong like when when i'm doing you know a normal film production it's, it's it's always great to have that if you can afford it but when you're you know out on location running around you really do not want to be having you know ha having to carry all that equipment first of all and, and then second of all you don't want to be you know attracting uh, attention to yourself because again when the second that you whip out a big microphone on, on a boom um, people are going to stop and stare and you do have to be careful like i said it, it's happened to me before and uh and it's you know it's not never fun when you have you know equipment e even if it's insured and all that stuff yeah it's it's best not to you know when you're out there on location not to have your equipment stolen because it really does stop you know or jeopardize your your production uh, especially like when i was filming here in, in the jungle and a lot of the times it's just it's it's uh, you know losing your equipment or, or getting it damaged uh, is um, you know in the middle of nowhere just simply means that you you know you're st that's it you, you're st you have to stop there's no more filming um, uh, another thing also with uh, with regards to for example the camera package that I had and the great thing about having you know just these simple lenses no matte boxes uh, no follow focus or anything like that uh, is that uh, you know you never know what's gonna happen and uh, sometimes you know you, you might be running around things that you know ha are happening around you or you have to run for cover uh, I was remember one example where there was some rioting in the streets and the police started using tear gas and I really did have to get out of there really fast because my eyes were, were, were tearing up and and I had problems with breathing and and you you know when you're in that condition you can very easily trip fall you know and break the camera and so you know if, if you if you're carrying around a lot of equipment you know expensive equipment with you then you know it's it's uh, it's gonna be that much harder whereas you know if you lose a camera you know let's say you know i have the 7d or a t2y you know y you know if you lose that it's not the, the end of the world it's not like losing let's say the, the red one camera um uh, another thing is uh, when you're filming out in, in you know nature and wildlife uh you'll get sometimes you know the animals coming up to you like you see here and they'll just be cu curious and actually in this case that uh, this monkey uh, was first was kind of grabbing at this lens shade that I had on the camera and then eventually it jumped on my back and it ended up stealing my the, the microphone cover that I showed you earlier and uh, and again it, you know if I had you know spent a lot of money on this microphone cover and you know it, it would be a lot more painful losing that but in this case you know I was I could I could very easily let them then you know the, the monkey take the, the microphone cover and just go with it and while I had fun it eventually actually did end up returning it so the, that's a good thing but uh, but yeah, those those are the kind of things that you never know really what's gonna happen when you're filming out on location, uh, and you, when you're doing documentaries and that that type of work. Uh, so the the last thing that I want to talk about is just uh, you know w f little tips when you're actually filming um, and and uh, to to make your life easier later on when you actually you know need to go on and e edit all your footage. Um, if, if you're doing, for example, you know, just getting, you know, maybe nice like landscape shots or just, you know, candid shots of, of, of people, you know, going about their, their daily li lives, uh, what you want to keep in mind is, uh, is, like I said, you want to always, you know, uh, f f f f look around and, and, you know, and take in, you know, as much of the surrounding and, and kind of pick out the most interesting things that, you know, on that given location uh, that, that you can capture. Um, and then w really what you want to do is you want to sort of dedicate yourself to one thing at a time. What I find a lot of times people do is, uh, especially when they're on vacation or somewhere, uh, they'll end up, you know, f panning the camera around, left, right, you know, up, down, and because and there's so many things that they find interesting. And, and it's great. It's great to be in that mindset because that means that you're looking at the location with a the fresh, you know, perspective. Um, so it's good to be excited, but at the same time, you want to kind of contain yourself and, and remember that, it's no good if you just end up getting all these quick, you know, one, you know, or, or two second shots that, you know, that are sh constantly shaky because you're, you're constantly shifting your attention from one thing that you see to another and then, you know, and then, and then another thing and you're constantly changing focus and, and the framing and all that stuff. It's, and, it's, and, and then later on when you go to edit this stuff, you're going to find out that, that it's very hard to edit it because most of the footage is either shaky or slightly out of focus or something like that. And so even though they're nice looking shots, they're just, you know, they, they have all these, you know, problems in, in it. And, uh, and really the, what you want to do is you kind of want to spot something, let's say, you know, something interesting happening, uh, like, like the, the way you see me doing here, and just sort of commit yourself to it and start recording. And even if, you know, if something else happens to cross your frame or you see something else that's interesting, you do not want to deviate from it. You just want to kind of stick to it and get, you know, at least, you know, a good solid 10 seconds, for example, of, of this shot. 
and then you know while you're filming that shot you can take your eyes away from the camera and look around you know let's say you know off screen and see okay is there something else that i can you know uh r record right right after i'm done with this shot and then then you, then you can quickly you know kind of once you know and you've already dedicated yourself to the next shot you can very quickly then pan reframe you know refocus and get your next shot and that's sort of the, the best way to, to, to work um so a again just remember that you want to sort of commit yourself to one thing at a time and don't don't be constantly w you know panning your camera around and, and that kind of stuff um and uh, that's that's pretty much it so um if, if you have any other questions about you know filming in, in, in remote locations like these uh just you know drop me a, a comment below this video uh and uh, and i'll try to answer as, as, as many of these questions as i can so uh good luck out there shooting and uh thanks for watching